Okay, my friends, here is the church. Sveti George at 108. Eh, I forget the name of the road. This Maybe this is a little pavilion center here next to this Orthodox church. I'm going to see if it's open. Oh, no, I've got shorts on. Damn. No, it's locked. I can see the deadbolt. Well, you've got stained glass. That must be Sveti George. Can I see anything in there? No, unfortunately not. There it is. Srpska Pravoslavna Crkva. Sveti George, St. George Serbian Orthodox Church. Built in 1990 to 1992. Built in, I guess it was completed in 1992. Uh, but anyway, this is it. What else do we have on the side? More saints. This is so strange. This is a little city of 35,000 in central Arkansas. And a guy named Mihailo, uh, he's a Serbian from Akron Serb community. I think his last name's Popovic. Uh, so forgive me, uh, Mihailo, if that was not your last name. Uh, but anyway, uh, he told me that this church was here and I couldn't believe it. I thought that was so cool. He said there's two and he said there's a business here owned by Serbs. So what a small world. Serbs are literally everywhere. So if you're ever in the beautiful little town of Hot Springs, Arkansas, stop by Sveti George Serbian Orthodox Church. Okay, this is actually where it is. Donnie Court on this dead end street. Right here. This must be part of it, the Pavilion Center, where they have their, I don't know, Slava celebrations, Rojan dance, whatever. But there is our beautiful little church. Okay, this, Sveti Archangel, it's way out in the middle of nowhere here. Out in the forests of central Arkansas, which are dense and just beautiful. They're pristine uh, forests out here. I really, really enjoy. Uh, I've, I have enjoyed my time here in Arkansas. I've only been here for two, uh, two full days. Uh, and I've got this day and this is it. Then I fly to Columbia tomorrow. But anyway, let me find this church. I think it's right here on the right. Yes, it is. There it is, yeah. Oh, how pretty. I don't know where I can park here, but let me see. Yeah, here it is. The church of Sveti Archangel Mihailo. See, Archangel Michael Free, Serbian Orthodox Church Hall. Dom Slobodne Srpske Pravoslavne Srkva Sveti Archangel Mihail. Yeah, this looks more like the ones you would see in Serbia, you know? Yeah, really pretty. Then they have this here. St. Archangel Michael Church. This beautiful little church dedicated to St. Archangel Michael. The cemetery and church hall were built in 1979 by enthusiastic Arkansas Serbs who mostly came from Chicago and its vicinities and settled in hot springs. Loving its nature, climate, thermal, spa, and spring waters. In the Bible story about spa Bethesda, the angel came to support the bathing of the spa waters. Above the church entrance door, one can admire the colorful stained glass window representing the church patron saint, Archangel Mihaila. There it is. The church architectural shape follows ancient basilica uh, style of early Christian churches. Na, 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 na. Church walls are decorated with icons of saints and most beloved church parishioners in, in traditional Byzantine style. The St. John of Baptist. Sunday, Tuesday, major church holidays. Yeah, it's pretty. I wonder if I can go in here. Yeah, I can. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is a Serbian uh, cemetery even. Wow. Yeah, you can see all the last names. 
Anatolich Radu Antono Antonievich Stoyan Mudrinich Gaich Free Serbian Orthodox Church Hall. There's their pavilion building. Ristich Tolic. Man, there's quite a lot out here. Jovanovic, Erceg, Živović, Urošević, Savković, Alexa Radovanović, Radić. Man, that's just amazing. There's a lot more Serbs in this area than I ever dreamed. Wow. I'm so impressed. I'm going to see if the front door is open. Let's go back here and look too. I've got shorts on, so I don't want to intrude in here. Slobodna Srpska Pravoslavna Srpka. Serbian Orthodox Church Hall. Yeah, look at the area that it's in. It's really beautiful. Huh, so interesting. I cannot believe this. It just goes to show the massive amount of Serbian um, immigrants that came into this country. You know, just mind blowing. A town of 35,000. Who would have thunk it, huh?